It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but here's a quick five-word summary of what the previous two videos in this series, War of the Queers, have set out to prove and subsequently capitalize on. The LGBT community hates itself. Didn't you know that already? The first episode of this series discussed the vitriol directed at the lesbian community for being, well, lesbians about it, not sucking dick and refusing to put out for those poor, pressed chicks with dicks. In part two, we discussed the war on those disgusting asexuals and aromantics who, honestly, it's jarring, had the unmitigated goal to take up space doing their non-sexual, non-romantic thing in LGBTQA plus spaces under the LGBTQA plus rainbow. I know. How dare they? Those bastards. Part three of this series is when we finally, we finally get to what it is that you've all been waiting for, the content you all absolutely needed in your life. War of the Queers. The Big Gay. So we're talking about how the LGBT community doesn't like the gays. But Weebo, you say. How can the gays be hated in a community they make up such a large percentage of? Are you asking me how the majority of a specific community can be hated by a minority of another community in the same community? under that umbrella of the community. In today's current day and age, all right, I guess we're gonna get comprehensive about it. What you must understand, my dear fellow inquirers, is that while they, the gays, are in fact gay, making them a, an oppressed minority, they are also in fact much more than not usually cis as well, which is obviously problematic in itself. I mean, cis gendered individuals are the scum of the earth. Did you not know that? Well, now you do. And of course, because we cannot, absolutely not, talk about a minority group and the representation without overcomplicating it to all hell with intersectionality, it certainly doesn't help that they also, the gays, sometimes have a tendency to be of the wrong skin complexion. Eggshell, off-white, pale. Only sometimes though. Black. Gay men are no better than their white gay counterparts, apparently. Quote, well, black gay men that are pro-black slash woke and date white gay men, how can you call them out clearly laying in the bed next to them? How does this conversation work? The privilege that your skin affords me pisses me off and also turn me on. Now. Call me daddy. Hashtag I'm sick. Apparently it's disgusting. Interracial gay relations. I thought that was only a bigot's way of going about doing things. Noted. We actually have a whole list thanks to this wonderful phenomenon called a Twitter thread where the intellectual academics of our time and bleeding hearts of the internet can just go on and 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 on. Ah! Sorry, I lost my cool for a second. Quote, a list of problematic things that white cis gay men do. So many gay guys act like vaginas are disgusting and unnatural when they're really just sex organs. Grow up. So many white gay men say they have a sassy inner black women perpetuating dangerous stereotypes about the black community. Lots of white gay men don't care about queer POC and glorify white men putting them on a pedestal while ignoring the stories of queer POC. Plenty of gay men feel entitled to throw around the word tranny, thinking they can jokingly use it because they are gay. Many gay men are biphobic and spread the idea that bisexual people are greedy and more likely to cheat because they like men and women. Gay men feel entitled to objectifying women and think they can say whatever they want about a woman's body. Newsflash, you really can't. There is so much internalized homophobia in the gay community where feminine gays are shamed while masculine gays are glorified. Gay men who are out of the closet put pressure on closeted gays to come out. Be patient and respectful. Everyone's journey is different. White gays fetishize black men and see them as objects to fulfill a sick sexual fantasy. Black men are humans. Treat them as such. Finally, white cis gay men 
left to complain how marginalized they are while they continue to oppress those around them. Are white cis gay men evil? No, but they are the most privileged in the LGBTQ plus community and should constantly be mindful of this. Peace. In fact, did you know, dear viewer, that it is the cis members of this community as a whole that are the problem? Quote, in the LGBTQA community, cis gay men and cis lesbians are the most problematic in terms of thinking they are untouchable. Imagine that, would you for a moment? Dear viewer, being in a nation that, I've been told at least, is deeply oppressing and increasingly becoming more of a dangerous, hostile situation for gay and lesbian members of the Alphabet Plus community every day because the bad orange man is in office and at the same time, thinking that they are untouchable somehow. How do you sleep at night reconciling all of that contradiction, I wonder? And because they're white, they of course are not allowed to have any sorts of racial preferences. Obviously, that's a given. But because it's current year and we're all about intersectionality, you also cannot have what people like to call genital preferences, which is just a fancy way of saying that you can have a sexuality that discriminates between the genitals, which yes, I know, renders it and the entire purpose of identifying as homosexual completely moot. Otherwise, that's transphobia. I don't know, you don't have to be bi to want to date and fuck trans guys, I'm just urge, okay? There's so much transphobia in gay culture. And then, and then, when the gays do eventually open themselves up to engaging the trans community, apparently, apparently, it's only to fetishize them. <laughs> Quote, I feel like trans men are becoming more accepted into cis gay culture, but only in sexual ways, as another fetish. And we talk an awful lot about chicks with dicks and dudes with poons and the transphobia that they face within the inclusive toting exclusive alphabet club, but, if you didn't know it already. Apparently, the gays are also incredibly misogynistic. How, you may be asking? Well, in two out of three cases that I could find, I could find no clue as to how. But the last one, however, because they try to center themselves in the abortion discussion, gay men centering themselves in abortion talks. Why would they do this? Well, it's interesting because I know for a fact that there are probably thousands of gay couples out there in the world who would happily happily adopt your unwanted child that you're just you women are just so oh compassionate about sparing from a life in the ever-growing foster care system of our united states let let the gays adopt i say in all cases an adopted child is much better and more preferable to a dead child full stop however that is a conversation for another time i will say this it makes sense now why a surprising number of these members of a minority group that's supposed to be oppressed more of them vote conservative than progressive establishments would like <sighs> they're just guilty of wrong think we need to recondition them we're breaking the conditioning the most deplorable members of the gay community however are not those filthy mega thumpers no no no, no. It is the attractive members of the community that are the most problematic to the Alphabet Plus community because they are the apex representation of male privilege in the Alphabet Club and they, they don't even have the decency to own up to it and stay in their own lanes. In fact, this is an issue in all of gay culture that they fetishize the male physique. Imagine that, my fellow viewers, the gays having a form of sexual desire in which gratification is linked to an abnormal degree to a particular object and that object being the male body. Who could have seen that one coming? My my. However, prepare thyself, dear viewer, you are about to become even further le shook. Yes. I'm afraid we must accept the fact that gay men sexually fetishize gay men. More specifically, however, gay men, brace yourselves, because this is mind blowing, are attracted to men with muscles and toned bodies. Muscles and toned bodies. The horror. I will say this it seems that the biggest crime of the gay community, or something that some of the gay community is guilty of, however, is this notion of straight acting. Quote, straight acting gay men 
That is, men who are seen as normal and masculine are sometimes just as problematic and hateful as straight men. Acting straight is a sin in the gay community. You ignorant sluts. Why do you ignorant slut? You know how offensive stereotypes are offensive and wrong and offensive and not politically correct and offensive and definitely not something that you want to perpetuate as they're problematic and offensive? Yeah, that's that's not what this 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 person is saying at all. No, forget forget that thought. Just here are some guidelines for you to follow when you're gay, all right? Do the voices, dress yourself every morning as if you're walking yourself down the runway of life, and for bonus points, memorize these 97 prepared show tunes. Then, and only then, can you become one of the gays. Honestly, I think the worst thing of all of this shenanigans that you come across in any community, to be quite frank, has definitely got to be the self loathing. Whether or not it's men, women, straight people, cis people, whatever. Group your part. I don't care. I know I'm guilty of it as well. I don't generally like being around my own sex myself. It's something I need to work on probably. Uh, if I could tolerate them for even half a second, I would. But you know what? It's, the, it's a whole thing. The amount of self-identity condemnation is not healthy people. I mean, if you can't love yourself wholly, and you can't love anybody. Also, trust me, I keep gay men under a sharp-ass microscope. We low-key are the most problematic of the queer community, and by far my least favorite. Just due to the overall atmosphere the Twitter gays tend to have. Trust me, it's not a gay versus lesbian thing. If you like what I'm doing here, feel free to check out the links in the description to my Amazon, subscribe star, Patreon, PayPal, and the link to my Redbubble store where you can find unique exclusive Weibo merchandise. My PO box can also be found below if you'd like to send me stuff in the mail. Also, please consider leaving a like, a comment, sharing the video, and subscribing to the bell for more. If you want to see more of me in a different capacity, I have a second channel called Weibo Incognito dedicated to ripping apart all things entertainment. I do a LARPy comedy stream show called SideQuest over on Magog of Morscar's live stream channel, and I do a bi-weekly stream show called Two Girls One Stream with segments for news, advice, Collins, fanfiction read-throughs, and more on some dumb Americans channel. Links to all that jazz down in the description down below. Good afternoon, everybody. I know that this is the end of the video, and technically when I filmed the other video, it was like at 2 in the morning or whatever. But I've been awake for several hours, and I'm very tired and very loopy, and I have one package that came in the mail. I've... yeah. So we're gonna open it. By the way, the P.O. box is in the description if you would like to send me anything in the mail. I will open it on camera. Let's see what else we got. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. There's nothing in here. Okay. There's there's no note, I don't think. I have received two movies. I like movies, by the way. The Dish, based on a true story. You can't see it because it's shiny. Is, is this better? Based on a true story. I've never heard of this movie. So it's a space movie. I like space movies. We're going to watch that. And then The Castle. Are you guys telling... Are you guys sending me footage... Is this, okay, so the castle is this year's full Monty. That, that, I don't know what that is. I don't get the reference. There's no place like this home. All right, so this is a comedy. Are you guys sending me content to review? Is that what this is? Disc made in Mexico. All right, someone just sent me films and I'll, I will watch them. Yes, I will. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing this tricorn. There is no reason. I'm just wearing it because, anyway. So, thank you so much to the random person who sent me these two movies. I will get around to watching them whenever I have the time, which these days does not seem like I have a lot of time. But that's okay. I like DVDs, and I like having DVDs, because then you can always go back and watch them, and you don't have to worry about Netflix taking them off before you can watch them. So, I digress. If you would like to send me anything in the mail, the P.O. Box is in the description of this video. Yes, it is. It's a simple matter of typing it into your computer or putting it on a packaging label and sending it off to me. But that is your prerogative. I also like getting letters. That's the thing. I like reading them. Yeah. So there's that. Thank you so much and goodbye.